Sipan Hassan. Well, Hassan has uh, often had to contend with racing against Zebi de Barba, of course, at uh, 1500 and indeed at 3000 on occasion. And Hassan has had a, an interesting preparation. She ran some good cross country races at the beginning of the season, beginning of the winter, I would probably better way of putting it. And talent there. On your marks. Women's 1500 meter final. Seven and a half laps of the track. Well, just to prove it's wrong, Hassan goes straight to the back, <laughs> as uh, she normally does, but I don't think she'll let them get away here. Sayom has uh, slotted in behind. In fact, the three Ethiopians watching for Hassan straight away, happy to gather themselves around her. As police is the uh, early leader, Melissa Duncan, just going alongside her. Sigai, the closest of the Ethiopians. And, uh, well, there's Melissa Duncan deciding, well, you know what, I've come to the world, championships I've got to the final I'm not just going to trot around here and let people um, out kick me in the latter stages and uh, well that's uh, to be applauded I guess yeah I think that's good for her I mean she knows that there's no way that she can live with the likes of her hands again in those closing stages and certainly once it gets into the last couple of laps so she wants to run a good honest race and at least walk off the track having done herself justice out there and given herself a, a good shot at running close to a good time Brenda Martinez there sitting and moving into fourth place will no doubt have been inspired by the performance of Boris Berrien to, to win that men's 800 earlier. He is coached by her husband um, and coach Carlos Holder and so surely that will have inspired it if the home crowd isn't inspiration enough to want to really give it your best. But I do feel like you that over the 1500, particularly when it goes fast, she maybe is going to be a, a disadvantage to the likes of Hassan. Well, as soon as Hassan made a bit of a move there, Sayon uh, just tried to cover it and almost tripped her teammate up in so doing. Hassan had a little look behind as well because she sensed that something had happened. And Bai was the one who suffered, who's now got herself back involved. Uh, seems OK. So after a 65 first lap, she's not going that fast, Melissa Duncan, at the, at the front. And uh, Hassan's decided enough is enough, though, and starts to close the gap. And the others immediately stretch out a little bit. And Martinez running a canny race at this point. I think it would have been better for Martinez, perhaps a slower run race, as you're saying, and use her 800 meter pace. So she's probably not enjoying this so much. But Hassan gradually closing the gap to Melissa Duncan. Yes, I think Hassan did get a little bit clipped in that tumble as well, but she seems so in that mix-up. But um, she seems fine now and has closed that gap. I think she recognised the danger in a 1500 metres. It's not often that somebody gets that kind of gap, but they can hold on to it, and you don't want to let somebody to get that big of a lead, particularly in a world indoor final. Melissa Duncan now finding everybody bunching on her shoulder with three laps to go. Sifan Hassan in second place. Sayom has tracked every single step that Hassan has taken. Brenda Martinez moving on the outside of Sigai. And now Hassan for the first time moves to the front. Sayom follows as you'd expect through a thousand meters in 246 and this is where things will really start to hot up here melissa duncan just almost getting a nudge over the curb yeah sam they're just clipping a little bit um, and pushing with melissa duncan slightly almost it's the game but now sofan hassan controlling this race i don't think she's really made any huge effort yet but she seems to be trying to control it from the front Sayom in second place, Sigai is third, and look at Brenda Martinez making a move around the outside, trying to get past Mbai, but Hassan with 300 metres to go, there to be shot at, she doesn't mind being at the front, she's a good front runner, but these two Ethiopians behind her have got pace, and they will know that they can attack in the last 200 metres, Martinez desperately trying to get back involved, now look at Sayom, tries to go past as they take the bell, Hassan's having nothing of it, she holds on to the lead, and these two now back it out down the back straight Sigai being left a little bit Sayom tries again to go past Hassan she knows she wants to get in front before this final bend it's not to be the case Hassan hangs on again she's full of fighting spirit Hassan now just opens up a meter or so Sayom trying to attack again but Hassan's gonna hang on it's gonna be a gold medal for Netherlands Hassan wins the title Sayom second Sigai takes the bronze and then there's a big gap to four and that is a victory which will be very, very popular in the ranks of women's 1500 meter running. She's a popular athlete on the circuit, and Hassan rewarded with the gold medal for her country.
As I said, you can go all the way back to Ellie Van Hulst in 1985 when they last won this title. That's an awful long time ago. But Sifan Hassan, well, she'll be watching a big rival against Ebi de Barba go in the 3,000 metres in these World Championship. And Brenda Martinez moving on the outside of Sigai. And now Hassan, for the first time, moves to the front. Sayon follows, as you'd expect, through 1,000 metres in 2.46. And this is where things will really start to hot up here. Melissa Duncan just almost getting a nudge over the kerb. Yeah, Sayom there just clipping a little bit um, and pushing with Melissa Duncan slightly, almost it's the game. But now Sofan Hassan controlling this race. I don't think she's really made any huge effort yet, but she seems to be trying to control it from the front. Sayom in second place, Sigai is third. And look at Brenda Martinez making a move around the outside, trying to get past him by. But Hassan with 300 metres to go, there to be out a little bit. And Martinez running a canny race at this point. I think it would have been better for Martinez, perhaps a slower run race, as you're saying, and use her 800 metre pace, so she's probably not enjoying this so much. But Hassan gradually closing the gap to Melissa Duncan. Yes, I think Hassan did get a little bit clipped in that tumble as well, but she seems to own that mix-up. But um, she seems fine now and has closed that gap. I think she recognised the danger in a 1,500 metres. It's not often that somebody gets that kind of gap, but they can hold on to it, and you don't want to let somebody to get that big of a lead, particularly in a world indoor final. Melissa Duncan now finding everybody punching on her shoulder with three laps to go. Sifan Hassan in second place. Sayom has tracked every single step that Hassan has taken. Boris Berrien to, to win that men's 800 earlier. He is coached by her husband um, and coach, Carlos Holder. And so surely that will have inspired it if the home crowd isn't inspiration enough to want to really give it your best. But I do feel like you that over the 1500, particularly when it goes fast, she maybe is going to be a, a disadvantage to the likes of Hassan. Well, as soon as Hassan made a bit of a move there, Sayon uh, just tried to cover it and almost tripped her teammate up in so doing. Hassan had a little look behind as well because she sensed that something had happened and Bai was the one who suffered, who's now got herself back involved. Uh, it seems OK. So after a 65 first lap, she's not going that fast, at Melissa Duncan, at the, at the front. And uh, Hassan's decided enough is enough, though, and starts to close the gap. And the others immediately stretch as the uh, early leader, Melissa Duncan, just going alongside her, Sigai, the closest of the Ethiopians. And, uh, well, there's Melissa Duncan deciding, well, you know what, I've come to the World Championships, I've got to the final, I'm not just going to trot round here and let people um, outkick me in the latter stages. And, uh, well, that's uh, to be applauded, I guess. Yeah, I think that's good for her. I mean, she knows that there's no way that she can live with the likes of her hands again in those closing stages, and certainly once it gets into the last couple of laps. So she wants to run a good, honest race and at least walk off the track, having done herself justice out there and given herself a, a good shot at running close to a good time. Brenda Martinez there, sitting and moving into fourth place, will no doubt have been inspired by the performance of Sifan Hassan. Well, Hassan has uh, often had to contend with racing Gonzebi de Barba, of course, at uh, 1500 and indeed at 3000 on occasion. And Hassan has had a, an interesting preparation. She ran some good cross country races at the beginning of the season. Beginning of the winter, I would probably a better way of putting it. And talent there. On your marks. Women's 1500 meter final. Seven and a half laps of the track. Well, just to prove us wrong, Hassan goes straight to the back, <laughs> as uh, she normally does, but I don't think she'll let them get away here. Sayom has uh, slotted in behind. In fact, the three Ethiopians watching for Hassan straight away, happy to gather themselves around her as police.